The traditional Chamorro seafaring group, Ulital, has found a new home at the Valley of the Lati in Talafofu. The group will offer canoe building classes from its new home along the Talafofu River. Thank you very much. Now we'll cut the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional Chamorro seafaring group known as Ulital are now home ported at the Valley of the Lati in Talafofu. We, we hope to st uh, kick off in uh, uh, this coming Monday uh, to start the summer camp, uh, the summer canoe building uh, with the kids. <laughs> Ancient Lati stones, which were the pillars of traditional Chamorro houses, lie alongside the Talafofu River. You know, we are so honored to have Ron Akfaji and Ulitao, uh, the group that actually built this uh, uh, replica Lati hut uh, a few years ago, to come back home and make it their permanent home. Uh, what we wanted to be able to do is share with all our people. Uh, the ancient art of seafaring and canoe carving. Ulitao represents what we have been looking for here, uh, give life to an actual Lati site to honor our ancestors. The Talafofu River is probably the only river on Guam that is large and deep enough for sailing vessels. The river flows right into the Talafofu Bay, giving access to the ocean. In fact, Ulitao founder Ronak Fadzi believes this ancient village even has an ancient stand for canoes. It's, it's a katsu, it's a stand where uh, the Chamorros would um, place their canoes on top uh, as a symbol, I suppose, but it's made out of clay and it actually has an asymmetric design. Chamorro canoes have an asymmetrical design, which is why Akfadzi believes this stand is a perfect fit for their canoes. And another reason why the Ulital seafaring group is a perfect fit for the Valley of the Lati. It's a beautiful place to have it, one more than Indonesian ground, and ancestral grounds. The traditional Chamorro seafaring group known as Ulutau are now homeported at the Valley of the Lati in Talafofo.